Here I am at it again, and as promised, I'm doing a tutorial on another piece of software for you music enthusiasts uh, on my Linux box today. And uh, this, of course, is rack a rack and this is the video that almost didn't happen. That's right, this program kept crashing on me left and right, left and right. I really had to do some serious mucking about on this in order to get this to function properly so that I could effectively demonstrate the software. Because this is good software in its own right, but quite a bit buggy. All right, now this particular effects unit is uh, similar to a Guitarix, but not quite as robust. Uh, you can have up to uh, two, four, six, eight, ten effects here on screen that you can see in this panel and uh, you can choose any effects that you want uh, much like uh, much like you know the um, uh, guitarix you can pick and choose which ones that you have so if you don't want to use the eco you you know eq you can swap it out for something else in this list giving you up to 10 options this unlike uh, Guitarix, already has a boatload of effects already preloaded into it, so you don't have to go online to get them. And some of the effects are pretty good, and some are pretty uh, out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> and some, so I'm going to sit here and play with some of these effects, and we're going to uh, turn some of the dials and that sort of thing, maybe have a little bit of fun with this. And if you are a musician or a vocalist or something like that, you can actually use this software. Uh, it uses Jack. And uh, let me uh, take a quick uh, moment to show you uh, my Jack setup that I have here. All right, so basically it has the uh, capture device, and basically what I have done here is uh, from the uh, rack a rack lines in, I have line out, one running to uh, OBS, which is this jack input client, and then another one that's going out to the system so that I can hear uh, what I'm playing uh, through the headphones. So you're able to hear it, and I'm able to monitor it at the same time using the uh, jack low latency sound server. So good stuff indeed. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this, and let's go ahead and move on. Now, this is the classic chorus uh, effect. I chose this one because this would probably make more sense for doing an opening of the video, but by default, you get Rodent Airlines. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. Uh, I just wanted to show you really quick. You can have some fun with this. Now, you'll see here that the items that are highlighted in white here are active, okay? There's also an on button here. So, you could actually change these on the fly. You know, this is just like having a stomp pedal board. Uh, if you're a musician, you have a, a bunch of little stomp pedals in front of you. So you can literally change the sound of the tone. Maybe you might want to use a compressor, which cleans up the audio a little bit so that you can apply better effects to it. And it has other options you can sit here and play with. Many of these, I don't have any idea what they do. All right, well, that's the uh, auto output and then a peak. So the objective here is when you have so many effects working at the same time, you want to avoid noise. You'll notice that when I turned on the compressor here, we had some fuzz coming in. Or, Well, there still is fuzz there, but that kind of made it a little bit more pronounced. Um, what When we add some distortion, you're really going to hear a difference there uh, in the... Uh, sound and so might be a good idea to you know uh, maybe remove some of that distortion So you can just take a classic chorus like this effect that's a nice clean sound and just uh, apply effects to it 
and see what kind of sounds you get. Sounds kind of okay for an overdrive. You can also use the drop downs and maybe pick out some different ones. Ooh, that one sounds a lot clearer, um, less noisy. <laughs> fun stuff. Um, you can even add an echo to it if you want to. Hmm, can't hear much there. Let's pick a different effect. We've got a panning echo. We could try this. Not sure if I'm feeling that one. Uh, why don't we try a phasing effect? First, let's turn off some overdrive because the phaser usually sounds a lot better with, uh, with your cleaner tones. So uh, let's try that out. We'll turn on the phaser here. Maybe get that, uh, maybe get that old beat sound. that a little bit more of a wet. Let's uh, amplify that effect a little bit. Hmm. Take it out of phase a little bit more. Or just play with a preset. All right, I can work with that. Maybe play with a flanger. I always love to use uh, a flanger with distortion. All right. I'm going to turn off chorus this time and... Oh, that one sounds good. Before I was ever introduced to guitarix, I used to play in Rackerack, and I can tell you, I had a lot of fun with this software. 
even though uh, Guitarix is set up better, this program still has a special place in my heart, especially when I'm just mucking about on the computer and just messing around, and I want to, you know, try out something different, maybe get a different sound, maybe, you know, just get some ideas before I uh, pass them through my favorite effects board. That's right, the Valaton. This thing, and I am going to do a full video review on this where I show off the software and everything. That'll be coming up eventually, along with the uh, uh, the new X, because that, that kicks ace too. But uh, uh, all of the software solutions I've found in Linux can't even come close to how good this thing sounds. So, yeah, I love this pedal. And uh, so... And I'm so glad that it works beautifully on Linux. All right. Uh, as stated, this software, uh, the first patch that you get is Rodent Airlines. For those of you who have earplugs, put them on. If not, no earplugs. Wet your fingers and insert in ears. <laughs> because uh, this one really takes the cake, okay? And uh, shouts to Ryan Billing for making it because, uh, well, some people, might, some of you guys might actually enjoy this one. But here it goes. Actually sounded better than uh, it did when I demoed it. Maybe it was just the song I was playing. But yeah. Uh... There's a convolver in here. So now we can change the effect. And it gives us the option to choose uh, maybe an, a Marshall stack. Do you want the, the Fender or do you want a Mesa Boogie cabinet? Let's try it and see how it sounds. Fun stuff indeed. Experimentation is key if you want to get the most out of this software. But let me tell you, it gives you, you know, Racker Rack gives you a lot to play with here. So if you haven't tried it out, I realize, yes, there are better programs out there. But this is a gem in its own right, and it's well worth your time just to play with this. Uh, not only that, I mean, because it uses Jack, you know, you can interface this with our door or any other... Uh, jack compatible software and play with this so you could you know this you may be able to make sounds that you could only do with this particular piece of software that you wouldn't be able to do in say um another program so good stuff indeed as stated though my issue is i have to shut off the effects before switching to another one otherwise this program crashes on me and the problem is when i'm running this from the terminal it does not tell me why it crashed and that's something that's very important usually it'll give you a segmentation fault along with some you know some information that gives you a reason that, that at least tell you why um the program crashed and that is not the case and the thing is that this was fully compiled on the machine so uh yeah all right um Hmm, let's see what Edgy does. I haven't heard this one, so I don't know what it's going to do. I'm auditioning these sounds at random, so uh, you're experiencing them at the same time as I am. I haven't had time to sit through and uh, play with all of these, so uh, yeah. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and fire up uh, the effect, and let's see what we get. Ah, it crashed. I hate it when that happens. Um, uh, I, I knew that at some point the software was going to crash on me, but pretty much I think I've covered just about everything that I could think of uh, to discuss about uh, the Rack Rack software. 
it's really neat software. It's just that I c can't stand the fact that it's no longer as stable as I remember it being. And the thing is, I just compiled this program uh, myself from source. And um, so, and the thing is, when run from the terminal, it really doesn't tell you why it crashed. And, you know, that's something, it's, it's like an itch you just can't scratch. So, but the thing is, if you can get it working well, um, it is well worth your time to check it out because you can get some really neat effects out of it. And there are so many patches that are uh, pre-installed with this that you can uh, sink your teeth into and have a lot of fun with. So I would recommend uh, that you build that. Unfortunately, though, the packages in the, in the AUR for you Arch users out there, they are marked as orphaned. But I did notice that when I downloaded the source from SourceForge, apparently uh, the, uh, the, the, Git, the, the, the Git address that they give you is uh, separate, okay, from the one that's on the AUR. And I think the one in the AO, AUR is slightly newer, okay. Um, so at any rate, it's worth your time to check it out. Uh, building it is fairly simple if you go on the SourceForge page. Um, some of you may run into a segment fault with it, unfortunately. Uh, I certainly hope the developer will uh, put some new steam into this because it is a good piece of software and well worth your time to check out. All right, well, that's all I have in today's show. Um, in my next episode, I think I'm going to uh, discuss the UX Mighty BT-20. I use this amplifier. Sometimes uh, it is a modeling amp, and one thing that I really enjoy about it is the fact that I can uh, that I can control it and uh, make different sounds with the unit uh, directly from my uh, Android uh, tablet or my cell phone. That's a really neat feature, so I think uh, I'll discuss that in an upcoming episode. And of course, uh, in a future episode, I definitely want to give more love to the Valaton and really show how this thing really kicks ace. So um, I know I'm going to be giving this some more coverage. And I also want to talk about uh, some of the software that I use for uh, reading a guitar tablature in the guitar courses that I'm taking online. I, uh, have, I have a huge library of guitar tablature, so I'll uh, show off uh, Tux Guitar. And uh, and of course, there are other alternatives if you want to use an older version of Guitar Pro. That is available in the AUR, but you need to purchase a license in order to be able to use it. Uh, all right, well, Easter is around the corner. So for those of you who are of faith, a little piece of advice. If you put Christ first in your life, you're going to discover amazing things will happen. I can say that uh, is true for myself. A little bit of love goes a very long way. So please do take some of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, my friends, peace out. Mm -hmm.